Hello nieces, hello nephews, it's your uncle Charters here, and today the S&P 500 decided to give us a nice choppy day. Plenty of opportunities in the intraday for some trades, but it was a choppy day, and it's to be expected after we dropped all the way to 385 last week and recovered. That's a pretty big move, um, but we'll see what happens. Let's talk, we'll talk more about it, but this is the flow sentiment. For the for the options option flow I have a filter for 200k premiums or above expiration date within one month right now it's pretty bullish 77 percent in the calls okay now for the people who wants to see the bigger premiums it's just we only have one that is expiration date within one month now if I take it down yeah you'll see some more here all right that's for all expiration dates and even with the all expiration date it's currently pretty bullish right now all right, do what you will with that information. This was Uncle Charter's Discord, where I try to do I do my best to keep my members on the right side of the trade, because it is a tricky market. I had two scenarios: the bull case scenario and the bear case scenario. Today we played the bull case scenario. All right, if Spy decides to pull back or base, I was I was thinking we get one of those. Three ninety eight is first support with three ninety five to three ninety six zone as must hold support i will look for calls after the first leg plays out now i talked to you guys about this i like to catch the second leg up and possibly even the third leg you know but i always try to let the first leg play out first okay after the first leg play out. so for example if spy tests 395 396 zone i will enter calls if 398 is recaptured if spy tests 398 bounces and recaptures 400 i will enter calls okay uh first resistance is 402 if cleared puts 404 406 and 410 ish in play then 415 there i let i mentioned i will enter puts at the around the 415 level if 402 is cleared i will enter calls with stop loss below 402 and i'll play it level to level with 404 as the first price target okay so i just give out my plan Early in the morning, this seven written at 7.05, 7.04 a.m. I pretty much tell you guys what I'm going to do before it happens, what my plan for the day is. So 15-minute chart is the time frame I usually execute my trade. All my levels are based on the daily and weekly chart. But 15-minute is what I use to execute, uh, execute my trades. Other people find the 30-minute more useful, uh, hourly, or even the 5 minutes. But this is for me, the 15. You got to find what works for you, Okay. The arrows are where I pointed, where I entered, okay? This one, I had a triangle pattern. It was a, a triangle pattern. I was watching the blue triangle pattern. Had a false breakdown. I bought the recapture. And plus, this blue line, baby blue line right here, that's the 400 level. It also cleared the 400 level, which helped out with my thesis. And I was able to play it up to the resistance of the triangle. Didn't quite hit my 402 level, but was able to play it up there. I scaled out as it went up but was done here left a small run and got stopped out okay just like i said in the discord i will buy the recaptures of 400 it did bounce around the 398 level when it broke down this triangle pattern hit the 398 level bounce right just like i said it in the discord and i will buy the 400 recapture got it caught a nice dollar 50 almost two dollar move broke down again spy was chopping Drop down to the 398 level, bounce, boom, I entered on the recapture of 400. Just like I planned to, I did take some profit around this blue level around here, fall 1.3-ish, left the runner up to fall 2, level to level, took it out, took my profit, boom, very happy. Got a false breakdown, broke below 400 again, right, recaptured it. Okay, now this was not a perfect entry for me. I did not enter right at 400. I actually entered around 400.5, 0.4-ish, around there. It worked out very well. Hit up that 4.2 level, shaved off some profit, left a runner, went up to, I had a 4.4 price target above 4.2. It actually went up to a 4.3.96, so 4 cents off of my price target. Guys, I'm not Miss Cleo, but this is as close as it gets. All right, good trade. All right, and then I, I didn't, trade anymore after that but i did let my group know i will count this as hitting my 404 price target which means if we lose 402 i'll count this as the second leg down with 400 in, as my price target 398 below it went as low as 
399.33. So he still was able to catch a $2 move, a little more than a $2 move towards the end of the day. Okay, guys, so that's all it is. I buy recaptures. I do back test and go. I like to play the false breakdowns. I like to play the false breakouts. Intraday, on the daily, on the weekly, whatever. All right? Now, I'll turn your attention to the daily chart. You see this orange line? This is my multi-year orange line from the January 18 high to the September 2020 high. That's the September 2020 high. This was the February 2020 high. All right? We had a test of it recently. Nice false breakdown scenario. Okay? Where I mentioned to the group we could get a squeeze if we can recapture that 396 level because of this orange line right here the multi-year trend line that's around where the 396 level is now while we did not get a squeeze we did get a nice seven dollar pop last week and today uh spy did show some type of follow-through okay now if you see this blue line right here i'll make it thicker that blue line right there that's my 398 level that was a very critical level as well so while it bounced off that 396 level, it also recaptured the 398 level. Today, it backtested that 398 level as a support and help. That shows some follow through. So tomorrow, 398 must hold. If, if SPY continues to chop or pulls back, 398 must hold. And we need to take out that 404 level, okay? Very tricky here because back on May 11th, 404 was are a are, are resistant that pushed the spy down technically speaking spy did just re uh back tested this 404 level today yes it was six cents off i'm still gonna count it okay so for me to be bullish i need to see that 404 level cleared okay as long as below it's a little bit tricky okay because we got this critical 398 level and this critical 404 level. That means anything in between, in my opinion, is chop. And yes, I'm still going to be trading within this chop level to level because you got the 400 level. You got the 402 level to, that we can use as a reference. Of course, the 404 and the 398, the extreme levels of this range. Okay? If 398 fails, that will put 396 in play. And I think if 396 fails... That's going to start the next leg down. Our last low was around 385. I think if 396 fails this time, I think we can go lower than 385 this time, okay? Um, if SPY can clear 404, continue to hold 398 and actually clear 404, we could possibly get a little more of a relief rally, okay? Up to, I got a price high 406, 410. That was a previous low back in February. And 415, okay, 415 definitely served as a critical level as well. And let me tell you, I will plan. I do plan on trying. If we hit 415, I do plan on trying to put there or trying to short there. We'll see. I will cut my loss though if I'm wrong, okay. But we'll play level to level. 404 must clear. If you're a bull, if you're a bear, you want to see that 398 fail. Okay, and especially that 396 multi-year trend line. If we lose that multi-year trend line again, we're definitely going to head down lower, possibly into bear market territory, okay? This is Triple Q. Triple Q last week cleared um, that 301 level. Today, it backtested that 301 level as a resistant, giving us a false breakout scenario. As long as below 301, that false breakout scenario continues to play in my book, all right? And that possibly that makes me bearish. We can see more downside down to 292, 288, possibly down to 282. Finally, okay. Only bullish above 301. Please don't forget, guys. Now, now this level 325.5 was a critical level, and it still is. We lost that level back on May 10th. We retest we retested that level as a resistance today. I'm only bullish if the if the Dow Jones DIA can clear 325. Point five, okay, because this is looking like a back test and go scenario to more downside. Okay, so if it clears it, I'm bullish. As long as it's below, I'm bearish. Okay, three twenty two point eight ish, three eighteen, three fifteen is my next level. I think we can go down lower because last low was around three twelve point five. I think we can go as low as three ten point six ish this time. Okay, only bullish above three twenty five point five. As long as it's below, I'm bearish on the Dow Jones. 
And look at this. Possible double top. Last week's, uh, last May 13th, Friday 13th, the high was 179.4. Today's high was 179.4. Okay, I have a level around 178.77. Failed to close both times. As long as we're below, I'm favoring a test of 174-ish. And if 174 support fails, I think we can head down lower. Last low was around 168.5-ish. I think we can head down lower than that to 165, probably even lower than 165. Okay, only bearish, uh, only bullish if 178.77 can actually clear. All right, guys, I had a nice alert on Tesla today. Mentioned to the group, if that 765 level hold, that's that white line right there. If it fails, it's it's good. we could get a drop down to the 717 or 718 zone. Okay, so it did fail and it dropped as low as 719, so it was like about a dollar off. Still not a bad move if you caught it, okay? Only bullish if it's above 766, all right? Tesla got a lot of work to do. It needs to get back above 766, putting 796 in play, 831, possibly up to 872, okay? As long as below 765, 766 zone, I'm favoring more downside. And I think this 717 level will fail. The last low we had was around 681. I think we can get lower down to 635, on the next leg down okay and here's apple i got this got this blue trend line it's been around for a while since december of you know got a bunch of touches here you can see it there and now last week we we failed we broke down that level and the last couple of trading days today and friday we back tested that blue trend line as a resistant including today and as long as apple fails to close above 147 and then this critical resistant level around 148.3 ish i'm bearish on it our last low was around 138.8 i think we can go lower than that this time down to 133 135 ish okay guys so unless we can clear some critical resistance overall uncle Charles is you know bearish on the apple all right guys so that's what i have for you guys today Thank you guys so much for watching. This means so much to me. I hope you guys found some value. And you all have a good day. Peace.